hey what's up welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing great today in this video i'm going to show you how we are going to update our files inside winner app so we already made two videos that you can find on our channel first how we are going to compress our files with winner and the second video that you can find about the winner is that how we are going to log and also how we're going to set a password for our winner application so in this video we are going to see how we're going to update the winner how we're going to update our files inside winner app so here i have this folder one on my desktop so let me just double click so i can show you the files inside so here i have this data.txt and also here I have this uh, image.png so let me just double click on this data.txt so I can show you the data inside this so here we have this name 1 and name 2 so I'm going to close for now and I'm going to right click here we have this vendor so we are going to add to archive so here we have this update mode when you're going to add a, a folder to this winner so the option by default here we have this add and replace files and also we have add and update files so here if i uh, just click ok so now we have this folder one so if i want to edit something inside this winner for any uh, files inside this folder one so I need to just double click here so here we have this data.txt so I'm going to double click so it's going to open this txt so here I'm going to type this name tree when you are going to click on close so here is going to ask you that you want to save so now if I want to save this close for now so here is going to ask me that um, this uh, file or this data.txt was modified do you wish to update it on the archive so if you hit yes so it's going to update or modify but if you just click no so it's not going to change anything it's not going to save but I'm going to click yes so now if I open this data.txt you can find that name tree is available here so this is the first method that I can update but if I'm going to add here something like uh, here we have this name 2 and I'm going to type this name 3 so I'm going to close this save and close this so now if I want to update this so the second method that I can do here is that I'm going to right click and here we have this winner add to archive so here we have this add and replace if I'm going to just click OK so it's going to add and replace file but if I select this and add and update files so it's going to add and update the files but if I'm going to select this let's try to do something like uh, here let me add one more because uh, it's already available this name 3 so we're going to add this name four so here i'm going to close this click on save and close this one close this right click and here on the winner add to archive so now here we have this add add and update file so we're going to select this one and click ok so now if i open this folder one let's check if it's going to be in data as you can see this name four is available so let's try to add or make a copy out of this image so Control c Control v on my keyboard so we can make a copy so now i'm going to right click here i go to this winner add to archive and also here we have this add and update files so here i'm going to click ok so let me just go to this folder one and here show you that it's updated so now the changes that we made over in this folder one and we add this to archive so here is updated with the new copy that we made out of this 
image and again if I'm going to just uh, here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just double click here so this time we're going to add this name 5 and click on close and save close this so now I'm going to right click and here we have this render add to archive and here we have this uh, freshen existing files only if I'm going to select this and uh, is going to freshen existing files only so it's not going to actually uh, let me just uh, do one more thing that I'm going to make a copy out of this data.txt so now I'm going to right click so this time we're going to select this freshen so I'm going to select this freshen existing existing files only so I'm going to click OK so now let's try to open this folder one archive so here inside that as you can see we have no copy of this data but if I'm going to double click here so the name 5 is available it's updated so the existing files only is going to update but uh, the new one is not going to update because here we just select this uh, freshen existing files only so here we have this ask before override so if i'm going to select this so before is going to override something there if you are going to update something and click ok so here as you can see is going to ask me that you want to override or you want to replace this uh, and if you just click yes to all so it's going to yes to all and it's going to just here if you just go there as you can see the same copy is available because we use this option which is uh, this ask before override so it means that it's not going to freshen the existing but it's going to update the new one as well so if you add more files to your folder when you add to archive when you select as before is going to uh, ask you and also is going to update all the archive inside that and here we have this escape existing files as you if you don't want to uh, uh, just uh, override you want to escape so you can escape that and the last thing is here we have this ignorize archive contents so here let's try to just uh, select everything control c control v so we made another copies here so i'm going to close this right click and go to vendor so here i'm going to click on add to archive so here i'm going to select this signalize archive contents so i'm going to select this one and click ok now if i just uh, open this archive here this vendor as you can see everything is available here so this option also help you to signalize and it's going to add the new update on your uh, archive uh, while using this synchronize archive contents so this is how you can use all this update uh, for this winner inside your windows pc you can use winner for a mac for linux uh, so it's available for different os not only that you can use this with at the windows but you can use it for uh, different os as well so this is how you can update your winner files and if you have any question please let me know in the comment box of this video and if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and also subscribe to the channel and if you want to stay tuned about our future videos i'm not close hit the bell icon as well so see you guys in the next video